Hi everyone, this is min uh this is my final cute project. It's a movie ticket booking app. So you can buy your ticket uh here. Let's create an account for a customer. Let's do min number two. The password is one two three four create customer account account created successfully and then hit plug in in here we will see a couple movie we can choose any of those let's choose polar at 12 20 and this screen will show you available seat and that it pulled the data from the database and then it will show up which one is available and which one is not. Let's choose four seats. One, two, three, four. And then continue. Let's get some food. Uh, we can add the Goods into here, and then we can clear that. Choose all the things. We have four people. Let's get four popcorn, some drinks, and then check out. When we hit check out, it will drive. Uh, it will write into the database the food cost, the the seat. And then it show it shows you a booking confirmation. Payment successful. Booking day and time it will get the data from today. 10 13 Wednesday, May 5th. We book four tickets. So I would assume that every ticket will be ten dollars for for this for four, four tickets and then food is the sum of what you were well, what we bought and this is the total everything in here will be stored into the database that we press that ticket sold oh this is one record of the movie movie named Paula uh, length 74 minutes Time slot mean uh we we show the we play the movie three times a day in every theater. Image store the image binary file ticket sold. How many ticket uh were sold? How how much money for the food? This will hold the seat of all seats, like the availability of the seats for every theater. So that's for the customer. Let's go with the, the administrator side. Okay. Create an admin. Admin number six, no, number seven. Admin number seven, create admin account. Account created successfully. And then log in. Here is the main screen where you manage what movie will be played. Uh, we can add movie here. We can also see the table that show every movie in the database. And here's a name. The movie ID will automatically increase. Length, time slot, how many times a day for a movie to be played. Yep, every day. Let's try to add Harry 
Potter. And let's do how many minutes for moving. Let's do minus one or two times lot four times a day. Choose photo. Picture movie poster. Do Harry Potter there. And then add movie. Oh we have an error. The length must be greater than zero because there's that makes no sense if we do negative number for the length. Let's try not specify the name and boom movie name must be specified. Harry Potter at movie it will write to the database. I will add a couple more. Let's do uh maleficent. And the length is two hours. Two hours is one twenty. Time slot three times a day. And then let's do Captain Marvel. With two hour and a half, that would be 120 plus 30 is 150. That will be and look into here. I don't like the cars, the cars moving. It's been there for too long and then now I want to delete that. So what the admin do is they take the movie ID and put into this box and then hit remove movie and boom it will disappear. And export data to file that will help you to export every movie into the text file so uh, we'll we'll know like the right kinds of it. Let's do test five. The first column is the movie ID. Inside the parenthesis, that would be the name of the movie. 74 means the length of the movie. Time slot is yep, how many times the movie will be played per day. And after adding that to the database, let's go back to the Go back to the customer side. Number two, one, two, three, four. Not in. Yo, now we can see Harry Potter, uh, Maleficent, Captain Marvel, and we no longer see the Cars movie here. Let's try to watch Maleficent at 2.45 because it is a new movie so there's no one in here. We can buy in the middle. Yep, five seats. Continue and we get a combo, a party bag and get some drinks go to checkout and boom five five ticket would be fifty dollars 
and the food cards. We can also check that into the database. This is the account uh, information. It store all the account of the user, including the admin and the customer. So that's it for my for my final project. Thank you for watching.